facts been ignored or has there been an attempt on part of the BBC in trying to air this show and trying to air this series and represent half truth in the case as being is being alleged by the Modi government here's what the documentary shows and this is the factual rebuttal that is coming in from the center's part also citing the Supreme Court clean shit the series shows uh, claims of Godra carnage being disputed now that's the claim wherein the fact is that the Nanavati Commission uh, report states in as many words that the Godra train coach was burned by throwing petrol so an attempt was made to set the coach on fire and not like it was a pre-planned plot uh, with regards to what the series shows investigations of SIT have been labeled as superficial in the documentary but as for the facts are concerned the SIT was appointed by the Supreme Court remember on the 26th of March that's when the SIT was constituted by the top court of the country itself the BBC series further shows that the investigation of the SIT has been labeled as superficial in the documentary and while this is what the claim has been as far as the docu-series is concerned the fact remains the Supreme Court has expressed appreciation at the work that's been done by the SIT the top court has taken cognizance of the SIT probe and that's what the case has been built on former Congress happy Ehsan Jafri called Modi for help before ki being killed is what the BBC series has revealed wherein the facts on record as per the SIT probe revealed that there was no record of Jafri calling Modi the then Gujarat chief minister for help. So why is this claim being made when none of this is actually on record given the probe that's been underway which has also been put in front of the top court. Tista Setalwad was waging war to fight human rights violation. That's what is being portrayed in the BBC docu-series which takes us back to what the SIT has said and remember the Gujarat police has also taken cognizance of the same in the latest the SIT maintaining that Tista plotted for death sentence uh, to Prime Minister Modi in 2002 riots the then Gujarat chief minister further it goes on to also talk about Sanjeev Bhatt uh, and how he was present at the meeting at the chief minister's residence on the 28th of February 2002 so goes back to 2002 in the month of February the facts on ground as per the probe former IPS officer claimed his presence at the meeting after over seven years so those are the stark contradictions uh, with regards to what is being shown in the documentary series uh, vis-a-vis what the actual probe has revealed which by the way is also the basis on which the top court gave a clean shit to the then Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi.